Hi, I'm Mike Stanton. It's August 18th. This is the BAM Weekly Muni Market Update. I'm here with David Young from BAM's Capital Markets Desk. David, thanks for being here. Hey, Mike. Thanks for having me. A very interesting week in the market. We saw higher yields across all fixed income markets. Investors seem to be reassessing the outlook for the global economy. What did you see? Yeah, so the higher for longer narrative really continues to, to play out and it's very well advertised at this point. Um, we did get the release of the FOMC meeting uh, minutes. Uh, you know, really that just highlighted that additional interest rate hikes may be needed. Um, you know, really throughout the entire week, we saw a pretty vicious and rapid sell-off in the bond market. Um, you, you know, the 10-year U.S. Treasury uh, is currently at about like a 4 or 23. Um, that's up seven basis points and the highest level since October 2022. And prior to that, 2008. Um you know, that's having kind of drastic effects on other borrowing costs like mortgage rates. You know, everybody's seeing in the news uh, that mortgage rates top 7%, which is the highest level in decades. Uh, and in terms of the muni market, uh, ratios are ticking a bit higher uh, with munis lagging treasuries. Um, depending on the curve, you're seeing anywhere between 10 to 14 basis point cuts. Um, and, you know, the technical side of it as well with Lipper. Uh, showing about 264 million of outflows, uh, bringing the year-to-date fund flows to about negative 7.4 billion. And that's interesting because, given the the scope and scale of the move in interest rates, uh, that's not a dr dramatic change in uh, fund flows yet. It does remind us that it is the middle of the summer, and there are definitely some people not participating in this marketplace. So we'll see what kind of legs this uh, this move has going into September. So let's move over to the muni market. Looking back at this week, it was a pretty active week uh, in uh, the new share market, especially for BAM. What did you see? Yes, we had about $8 billion of supply this week. Um, BAM had a really great week. We had 23 transactions for uh, $430 million of par insured. Um, you know, you and Grant mentioned last week uh, in the video that everybody should check out uh, that there was a $170 million Chicago O'Hare CFC deal led by Barclays up priced. Um, and a $42 million Wayne State University in Michigan, and that was led by Seabird. And looking into this week, a slightly uh, lower total calendar, about $7 billion uh, looking to come to market this week. Still active for BAM, more than $220 million of BAM insured bonds on that calendar. That's led by $58 million for Bug Tussle, the Fond du Lac County, uh, Wisconsin transaction that was highlighted in a BAM Credit Insights video with Gia Calabrese a couple of weeks ago. Uh, that'll be priced by UBS. And then we're also looking at a green bond issue, a BAM Green Star transaction coming from the Poway Public Finance Authority in California. That's going to be underwritten by Stiefel, totaling about $30. $5 million for the water supply system in Poway. Both of those transactions are highlighted by uh, BAM Credit Insights videos. So visit our YouTube page for more information about those. Thanks for your time this week, David. We'll uh, talk to you soon. All right. Thanks, Mike.